serve a God who is the King above all kings and the Lord above all lords. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. 
God, for how good you are, Lord. No matter what is happening, Lord, you are still good and you are sovereign, Father. We thank you that you are king, Lord. You are everlasting, Lord Jesus. Thank you that we can stand on you, the solid rock. We praise you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We worship you this morning. We open our hearts to whatever you have for us this morning, God. We praise your name, Lord. Above all, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Go ahead and greet one another this morning. You're all looking good again. Keep that up. It may be a little less than ideal outside, but it's cheery in, right? What love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called his sons and daughters. Amen. We come together this morning uh, to worship his name. We have some announcements. Not many actually check your bulletins not 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 many announcements and half of them are not quite right <laughs> that, 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 or or maybe now now that's not that's not mary's fault that's 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 nobody in the office's fault sound equipment is not missing that's take that's taken care of that's the first thing and the new member celebration is on hold, I suppose. Our, we think it's June 9th now. All right, never mind. <laughs> I'm wrong. It's good to know the announcements are right, and I'll proceed with that. So plan on that then, Sunday, June 9th. Plan on a, a brunch, a little different, a, a covered dish brunch. Plan on it enough to bring some stuff. But strike that. It's not a covered dish. <laughs> I quit. Cross that up. Cross that up. It's still being planned. I thought, well, that's something different. Okay. Keep keep your eyes on this space for. <laughs> there, one thing we're sure of. There will be like one thing we're sure of. Okay, I can say that the dessert table will be full. Yeah. Okay. Are there any announcements that need to be mentioned that are not in the bulletin? to go on as we have been with a couple of part-time people in the office because uh, I, I guess Robin can't take full-time 
And uh, so if you have secretarial skills, I guess, the type that's required for that office work. Computer skills help, really, co really. Computer skills would be excellent, yeah. Okay, anything else? Prayer concerns and praises. We have a couple concerns. We were made aware of a concern last night, a, a surprise. Uh, Ken Malanke passed away, doing what he loved to do, playing volleyball, apparently so. But uh, yeah, he's, he's been known to the church over the, over the years now. If you're, if you're younger, possibly you don't know Ken, but I'm old enough to know Ken. <laughs> Lots of us are old enough to know Ken. And, and his mom and dad, and uh, you know, Betty had worked here as a assistant to the pastor over the years, for several years. She was here uh, when, when Pastor John was here. And uh, yeah, I, I, Ken was, I, when, when I started teaching Sunday school classes way back whenever that was, I, I, you know, I don't know the exact year, but I know it was the day after my own mother passed away. Um, and, and Ken was in our class. And sometimes when that class was starting, it would be, uh, so, some Sundays it would be me and Dorothy and Ken. <laughs> and, and we grew a bit from that, but sometimes it was basically Ken. And uh, yeah. So prayers for that family. Uh, I, I suppose he would have been in his 40s. He was 47. OK. Or will be 47 this year, I think. Oh. My daughter, one of my daughters. Yeah, yeah. Young daughter. He has a child who is maybe eight, nine. I'm not sure how old Jackson is, but he certainly they need our prayers. And OK. Then, yeah, yeah, I didn't know if there was any son, children. This is new joy. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Sarah. Okay. I have a praise and a prayer concern. Um, praise for me, prayer concern for my mother. But um, <laughs> I'm leaving for Peru in two weeks. My school gives um, eight scholarships every year um, to do mission work over the summer, and I applied to one and got one, along with eight other girls. Um, who are all juniors, and so we were going everywhere from South America to Europe to India to, um, there's two people going to Ukraine, um, so if you could just keep us in um, your prayers as we do that. I'll be there, I live in two weeks, and then I come back August 10th, and I am living in New Life Children's Home, which is an orphanage down there that works on taking, taking kids out of the streets and getting them into adopted homes in Peru, across the globe, um, so I'll be working with them and living there and then doing ministry in Lima as really so hopefully that'll work out great, and I'll try to keep you updated about the summer. Very good. Excellent. Pray for Sarah in Peru and her friends all over the globe. Yes? A couple of months ago, I asked the church for prayers for a friend of my brother's line of business uh, associate who was gravely ill down in Texas, Dick Burgraff. He's made a remarkable recovery. Oh, Amen. Thank God. Thank you. He's back at work. And you see, Robinson got operated on for a burst appendix, and she's, I, I actually talked to her yesterday, and she's feeling much better. So, yeah, and, and that, was, that was quite a deal, I guess. You know, she was walking around with that for a while. There's, there's more details than I 
care to relate or even can remember, I guess, but, but apparently she was pretty sick. Yeah, April. Okay, thanks, Liza. Anything else? Trevor graduates today. Trevor graduates today. Oh, wow. Whoa. Good. Anthony Horowski has had a setback at his back in intensive care down in Chops. I'm not sure exactly if this relates to the rare disease he has or if this is just something else but that the disease has come with. Anthony Horowski, he's on our list. It's a big list, there's some new names there and we mentioned some new names this morning, so as you pray, go through the prayer list, check that out. Pray for those you know and those you don't know. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you that we can be here this morning. Lord, we thank you for putting life in our bodies and bringing us out and, and having us here. And, and, and most of all, for the revelation through your spirit that you are God and you are worthy of our worship. You are holy. Lord, you are glorious. You are, you are the creator. Lord, you've made everything that's been made. You give breath to everything that has breath and life to everything that has life. And Father, help remind us of that. You know, when, whenever we open our eyes, whenever we look around us, whenever we look outside, uh, on, on the beautiful days and on the not so beautiful days, Lord, they all work together uh, to, to water and to grow your world. And in, in your perfect plan of how things should, should, should work and, and operate, Lord, it all works together. And Father, we praise you as, as we consider our own bodies and the workings of them and, and as we mentioned, some of these requests have to do directly with you know, how wonderfully we're made and how intricate we are and, and yes, how much can go wrong, actually. And Father, we want to lift up these people to you who are suffering at the moment, suffering through pain or illness you know, or whatever that... We pray that you would be with Anthony Horowski, Lord. That, uh, you know, he's, he's got a tough life, I guess, and, and his grandmother, I guess, uh, not, not too long ago, stood up and, and praised about the joy in that little boy and going to the park and things and, and uh, that. And Lord, we, we pray that you would bring back his joy. Lord, that you would just be with him and Lord, that you would heal his body and that those around him you know, would see your work Lord, that you would be glorified in his life and in his body. Lord, we ask that you would be with uh, Liza, Lord, who's we have made requests for. And Lord, you know the situation. You know what's going on with her. You know what ails her. And Father, you are the healer, Lord, that we just place her in your hands. And Lord, we just pray that, that we might hear a praise that, uh, of how that woman that was raised up here, uh, unknown to most of us in the church, I suppose, but Lord, that, that we may hear about how you've worked in her body, in her life. And Lord, we just pray that you would make yourself real to her, Lord, that she would see you, Lord, that you would be revealed in her and in your working in her. We thank you for uh, the praise of Ross and Bob's friend in Texas. And Father, we just, we just thank you, Lord, for working with him and in him. And, and Lord, we thank you for this praise. Lord, we love to hear praises. We love to sing your praises. We love to see how you're working. We love to feel how you're working in our own lives and we love to see how you're working in others. Lord, help us to have that sort of compassion that goes out and doesn't just think of ourselves but rejoices in the, in the joys and, and the triumphs of other people, those around us. And Lord, let us seek for that, you know, even above our own cares and our own concerns. Father, we, we miss Trevor, who was uh, with us playing the guitar you know, for a while and went off to school, and now he's graduating. Father, we thank you for 
moving him to go to school there, for moving him through school and, and moving him to the point of graduation. And Lord, we look forward to see where you'll move him after that. Lord, we know that you've given him a job for the summer. We know he's going to be working for you, you know, this year. And uh, well, we suspect all the years of his life. Father, we thank you for making a difference in his life, for bringing yourself to him, for calling him to you, for holding him in your arms and for working in him. And uh, again, we look forward to seeing great things that you will do with him. Father, we pray for uh, the family of Ken Malanke, Lord, for the wife he leaves behind, the son, uh, for his mom and dad, for those around him, for those who knew him and those who loved him. And uh, Father, we, you know, wh whoever loved him here, Lord, we know that you loved him more and you love him more. And Father, we just thank you that he's placed himself in your care. And Father, we can, we can rejoice in that. You know, we, can, we can be happy. Not that he's gone, not, that, not because of the situation he leaves behind, but because we know that he's with his father. And uh, Lord, we just thank you for that. Lord, we, we lift up the uh, concerns. We, th we thank you for the joy in the Evans household, uh, for, the, for the new joy. And we thank you for that family, Lord, and, and all, all the relatives and all the, all, all the work that we've seen done you know, through that family and in that family. And uh, Lord, we just pray that you would continue to you know, work there, Lord, to be glorified in them. And... Uh, Lord, we lift up the concerns of this church for, for filling vacancies, for, for Mary Stouch. Lord, we thank you for giving her this opportunity, and we, and we know that you'll give us somebody to work in her place. That's, that's, not a, that's not a worry. But, Lord, we just place that in your hands, and we pray that you would bring the right person to you know, come forth. And, uh, Lord, that we would, we would know who that is. And uh, uh, with, with, you know, as we... As we know that you know, our, our pastor won't be with us forever, and as we search for a new one, we pray that you would be with the committee that's doing that, or with, with all the committees, with all the commissions, with everything that we do here, Lord. May, may we know your will. May we do all to your glory and in your name and, and by your power, not by our own, not by our own might, not by our own strength, but, Lord, by your power and by your wisdom, for your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Ted. Well, praise the Lord. Blessings to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we come into the house of the Lord today, uh, that, uh, we, you know, we trust that God's going to uh, continue to minister to you by the Holy Spirit and that his word, our hopes are that his word would gain entrance into your life his word would make a difference in your life let's begin today um, I'm, I'm i'm targeting a couple passages in the new testament uh, but i want to begin in the psalms again and uh another another uh, sermon yet another sermon and and next sunday was yet another sermon about praising god and singing uh, to the Lord, um, you know, if, uh, if you really have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, there is something in you. There's something in your spirit. And whatever is in your spirit of God, of the Holy Spirit, you need to release that. And there's things you can do that helps that. Um, Psalm 104, if you would. Psalm 104, and uh, my question today to you is, do you know that in your spirit there is a song going on? Oh, yes. Now, now this is my experience, and you can't let the pastor's experience govern everything, all right? I, I, I'm smart enough to know that. But if this is not true in you, I would be really surprised. Now, I've been surprised before. <laughs> all right, I, I get surprises all the time. But I would be surprised that if, if, in your, if you really know the Lord Jesus Christ, if there, in your spirit, if there isn't a song, 
All the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, there's some kind of song. Yes. I'm talking, not talking about your mind. I'm not talking about up here. I'm talking about here. That it's there. Yes. If it's there, help me preach it, Barbara. You're into this. I can tell it. I'm sorry. Oh, don't, don't apologize, lady. I will take all the amens on this that I can get. You know, like saying amen to the pastor is like saying sick him to the bulldog. I like that. I love dogs. So what is it? What does it take? The first thing I would point to <laughs> yeah. First thing I would point to here in Psalm 104 uh, that I want you to see is uh, Psalm, Psalm 104, verses 33 and 34. And, and as you come into the house of the Lord, and as you live, so it's true when you, when, you, when you come here on Sunday morning, but it's also true of every day in your life that you purpose in yourself that what is true in the spirit, now not what is true in the carnality and the old fleshly sinful part of you. Yeah, you got that too. Cruci that, you know, that needs to be crucified with Jesus where? On the cross, all right? Yeah, right. But the other part needs to be released. And you have to determine, I'm going to do this. If it's the last thing, I do. even if it's even if it kills me, Lord, I'm going to do it. Here's what it says: I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. So there, you can grump if you want. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yes, pardon me for being so bold about this, but I'm just trying to just demonstrate what it takes. There is nothing quite as miserable as miserable Christians. <laughs> you can spot them a mile off. Just look at their face. <laughs> They're growling at each other and <laughs> come on. No, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. I will sing. I'm gonna sing. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. Yeah, you would get that in you? Is it in you? I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. I'm going to sing, I'm going to sing. Lord, I'm going to praise you. Lord, I'm going to sing, I'm going to sing. Lord, I'm just going to keep singing, Lord. You know what? If I had lived to be a thousand years old, it still wouldn't be long enough to praise this God. This God. Because he's the real God. Yeah, there's all those phony gods. All those gods that we can give our time and energy and effort to and don't realize we're getting this false gods. Something we're trusting in besides this God. There is this real God. And the reason he's given you eternity because that's what it takes to really praise this God right. But don't wait till you die to start. What do you think? Start now. Start today. Start last week if you could. As long as you live. My friend, uh, this popped into my head. My friend J.E. Overhalzer died uh, in the 1980s. And he was, some, if I remember right, somewhere between, either between 104 and 105 or between 105 and 106, somewhere in there, and his wife actually was older than he was when, when she died. But uh, the last word, last word on his lips was Jesus. It's the name of Jesus on your lips. I will sing praise to God while I have my being, my meditation. Of him will be sweet. Can you get to the sweet place? <clears throat> you 
My meditation will be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. I will be glad. See, what, what's a church about? What's a church about? Well, yeah. It's Christians getting together, encouraging one another, teaching, preaching, yeah, 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 yeah. But what about being glad in God? Oh, God, I'm so glad. All the things I have to, to grump about, Lord, nah, we'll bypass all the grumping. All the belly aching, you belly ache. All the, what's, what's the word, the Old Testament word? Murmuring, all the murmuring. murmuring. <laughs> I, always, I like that word, murmuring. They, out there in the wilderness, you know where murmuring got the children of Israel? 40 years out there around that, in that desert. Uh, let's just praise God and move on, folks. I'm going to do it. Um, I will be glad in the Lord. I'm going to be glad in the Lord. Lord, I'm glad in you. Amen. And I thank Lord. Okay, now, what, what am I doing? I'm bringing this. I'm trying to give you a living example here of bringing it out of my spirit. But what, I'm do, what I'm doing right now is not trying to bring it out of an academic, intellectual, brain-level thing. I'm trying to what? To, to what God has put in me, by the way, so turn to Psalm uh, 40, what God has put in me is to express it, to release it. So getting together on Sunday morning, there is to be a release of the Spirit. And if we come in here with gladness, I say, I'm going to be glad. <laughs> Hallelujah, I'm going to be glad because I don't care that everything has gone haywire because what I see is a Savior Redeemer dying on that cross because He cares about me. He died for me. And I can see his blood being shed for my sins. And without him, without God, I'm sunk. My sins will invariably and completely drag me down. There's no hope of getting out of sins. No hope of getting out of sins without him. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to be glad I have a Redeemer. I will be glad. Can you, can, you, can you sense that coming out of the Spirit? Bless thou the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise ye the Lord. See, that's the song that was right there, right there on my lips. Bless thou the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise ye the Lord. They're going to go out into the sweetness. Do you know how to go into the sweetness? Bless uh, the Lord. But he's sweet God. Why, why is your song something other than sweet? Bless uh, the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Bless uh, the Lord. Oh, my soul, praise ye the Lord. And you just give your heart to him again. Just like the day when you first met Jesus, when you first found him. Give your heart to him again. Here in Psalm uh, 40, Psalm 40. Um, where is it? Oh, Psalm 40, verse 3. You need to see this. Psalm 40, verse 3. He has put a new song where? Where is he putting it? In your mouth. How did it get in your mouth? He put it there. Some of you maybe don't know what I'm talking about. Some of you said, what song? I don't see any song. 
By the way, and my experience in that was before I accepted Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that you didn't accept Jesus, but some, there may be a loose connection in there someplace. <laughs> because if he comes in, he doesn't come in without bringing a song and gladness and a perseverance to praise this God. You know, spirit of worship, spirit of singing. All right, it's in the spirit. He has, put, he has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Yes. All right, so when you come in here, aren't you glad that there's somebody here to sing beside you? Oh, yes. Oh. You, can, you can sing by yourself at home. You say, well, that's safe. Nobody else hears me at home. You know what? You need to reckon with the fact that most people sing sort of like you. <laughs> There's very few people that sing like Karen's third cousin, Sandy Patty. Very few people sing like her. All right. Huh? <laughs> she did. All the, all the uh, family genetic thing for singing went to Sandy. Karen, it, Karen got left out. <laughs> But you know what? There's a song in her heart. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> and so where does a song come from? When you say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. And Lord, I see your grace. And I see the sacrifice that you have for me on that cross. And I accept that salvation and I open my life to that, bring that into my life, bring, let it be there in me, and there comes this song that he puts in our mouth, and it's there. Think about it. Let, well, or maybe you need to get your mind out of the way. Maybe your mind is a place you're getting tripped up. It says, uh, uh, many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. If people can see you go through tough stuff and you praise God all the way through it, then I'll go, oh, you know what? They got something I need. That's part of the way that works. Go to the New Testament. We are a New Testament people, and I want you to see the singing in the New Testament and start with uh, Ephesians. Do you know about the singing in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5, if you would, Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians 5, verse 17, Ephesians 5, verse 17, therefore do not be unwise, but understanding what the will of God is. Well, you know, and some people run around, do you pray, oh God, if it's your will, now come figure out what God's will is. Understand what God's will is. God's will is that you come to the knowledge of salvation, that you know it, that you know your salvation, that it's a real thing, that it's just as real as anything around, All right? Now, if you're not there, Say, Lord, I want that. Whatever it takes, Lord, get me into that. Do not be unwise, understanding what the will of God, uh, the Lord is, and do not be drunk with wine. You know, we talked about old wineskins and new wineskins, all that kind of stuff, and the wine stuff. Now, now here's, for the believer, here's the bottom line. <laughs> we, by the way, why, why don't we need wine anymore? Because we got refrigerators, and we don't need to let that stuff go firm, you know, go bad and spoil. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to go real deep into that. Do not be drunk with wine. Do not be drunk with wine. Don't do it. It's only going to complicate your life. Do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation. Or dissipation. How do you say that word? Uh, King James says excess. What, what is, what's going on here? That is 
letting the old nature have its way and ooh, I just want more of that. And you gotta learn to say no. You gotta to learn to say no to that. He said, no, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna get drunk. I'm not. And the, bo the body can get to the point where it wants it and wants it and wants it. No. Lord, what I want is not that. I want you, Lord. Lord, I want you. In fact, I here, look at the verse. But be filled with the Spirit. If you want, if you want that which brings a sense of well-being. You know, so, see, wine can do that in a false sense. There's a fault, falseness about it. It's a, wine is a deceiver, right? But the Holy Spirit is not a deceiver. It says, but be filled with the Spirit. And God can bring into you, even in the faith, listen, even in the face of all kinds of problems, he can give you that sense of, yeah, I got all these problems, but God is with me. And I'm glad. And I'm going to sing, and I'm going to praise this God. So that's the next verse. Look at it. Speaking to one another. Yeah, so you don't do it just by yourself. This is doing church together. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. This, this is talking about having the thing in us, the truth and reality of what, what I might call the song of Jesus. The, there's always a song there. And you, you pursue praising God, Lord, whatever it takes to get me to sing more. You ever pray that prayer? Maybe not. Maybe you need to pray that. God, just motivate me. Lord, I don't care what it sounds like. It's up to you, God, what it sounds like. You ever say that to God? Maybe you need to say that. God, however it comes out, that's up to you. <laughs> Did you know that you could make, no, God could make you sing like Sandy Patty? Could happen. It could happen. I'm not sure, it's a, I'm not sure that's a, a, a really important prayer to pray. But if you're worried about how you sing, oh, I'm just not like the performers. But you know what? The performers who get paid big money are in a peculiar place because they're doing praises for hire. And even like preaching for hire, that we're hirelings and we're doing it for the money instead of for God, there's a, there's a problem in the land on this. They come up with music not because of the spirit necessarily, but because it sells. Yeah, where'd that come from? I mean, so I think the Lord is concerned about this. And I'm thankful for our music people that they are looking for songs that talk about the relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, work of his cross, power of his shed blood. My, my. Lord, keep us there. Speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing, singing, singing. Do you sing or you just stay there? I'm not going to sing them songs. You know what? There's no way I can sing those songs perfectly. But I'm going to sing. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And I'm saying this morning, if Jesus is in your heart, there's a song in there. Are you going to let the song out? You need... You need to release the truth of the Spirit regarding Jesus Christ from, from in here, yes. the depths of your being. Yes. And then verse 20 says, 
giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, don't wait till you die to get started. If nothing more, see this life as a practice session for heaven. And you say, but pastor, you don't understand. I, I got really serious problems. Uh, where is the Lord? Uh, Hebrews, 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 Hebrews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you asked that question. <laughs> no, you didn't ask it. I, I, I uh, rhetorically asked the question. Uh, the last chapter of Hebrews, I think. I'm dropping papers all over up here. Hebrews, Hebrews, I know where it's at on the page. There it is. Hebrews 13, 15. Hebrews 13, 15. There is a dimension when your brain, when your mind, when your feelings just is fighting, praising God. But I submit to you, if you check and you know the difference between that stuff and the spirit within you. That there's still a song in the spirit. And you got a choice. You can go with this stuff. Oh, it's just worse. You know, they told me, they told me that uh, to cheer up, th things could be worse. And so I cheered up and sure enough, things got worse. That's, some people live their lives there. No, 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 no. Look at this. Therefore, this is uh, Hebrews 13, verse 15, 15. Therefore, by him, that's by Jesus, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise. A sacrifice is giving something that is really a sacrifice. And, I, and my song, Lord, I don't feel like this. My brain wants to go the other way. But I am determined, as long as I live, as long as I have life in me, as long as I have my being, I'm going to praise your name, God. Amen. And this, so this melody that's in my heart, Lord, what is it? Jesus, Jesus. I'm just telling you what's in there right now. Jesus, Jesus. There's just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus. See, there's a sweet, in, the, in me, there's a sweetness about this. And look for that. See, you need to look for that. Consider that. Pursue that. And the sacrifice of praise, what? Let us continually, continue all the time offer the sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of our lips. You can't do this just internally. It's got to be released, the fruit of your lips. It's what comes out of your mouth. If it doesn't come out of your mouth, it doesn't count. I mean, when it comes to singing and praise, if you are not singing it loud enough for you to hear it yourself, it doesn't count. The fruit of your lips, giving thanks to his name. One other passage uh, I want you to see in the New Testament, and that is in Colossians. It's a companion to that passage in Ephesians. Colossians chapter 3. <coughs> Colossians chapter 3. And it also is talking about the things of the Holy Spirit in you. Where does Jesus dwell? He, Paul says he dwells in our hearts by faith. You're just going to have to believe that. He's in you. But as you live into that, you live with that, you're, you're going to see the difference that it makes. Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, let the peace of God... Let, permit it, it's there. It wants, 
God wants to do it. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. You want to let the old carnal you wants to let something else rule. What is that? Woo! No, that's not going to take you where you think it's that you think you want to go. No. It that is sin is a deceiver. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. If you don't have the peace of God, it's knocking. The peace of God wants to be there. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. Okay, so this isn't something you're doing at home by yourself, out there in the back porch where nobody hears. You're doing it together. It says, to which you were called in one body, be thankful. Be thankful. Thankful. It's impossible to be too thankful to God. If God were a little God, maybe you could thank him too much. But this God is a big God. <laughs> and you will never come up with thankfulness that's too, ba too big for this God. <laughs> God is always bigger than your thankfulness. Wow, I'm, I'm, and I'm speaking prophetically. Let the word of Christ, the word of Christ. Yeah, you need to get into the word, don't you? Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Father, I got a long way to go, don't I? There's so much I don't know. I want richly... And I want wisdom. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing. That's, come on, let's do it. Admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual song. Where's the source of it? In the spirit. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Singing with grace, that there's sweetness, tenderness. Oh God, I love you so much, Lord. Don't be afraid to say, God, I love you. Some people are afraid of that. Tell God you love him and then may your actions prove that love to be true. Grace, grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, so you got to prove it by the way you live. Love him, sing, sing to him, get together with God's people and sing. Whatever you do in word or deed, deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Oh, God, I want to do that. And Lord, I want this melody that's in me, that, that that melody, I want to make the melody come out. That would be the fruit of my lips, giving thanks to his name. Sacrifice of praise. God, before I die, I want to get into the heavenly praise. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be here. Thank you for the sunshine and the rain. Thank you for your grace and your goodness and the blessings with which you shower our lives. And may we be alert and aware that there's a song in us. There's always a song there, always a song, just to check, see what the song is. Sometimes it's a song we've heard before, and sometimes it's a song we've never heard before. That's, that's the new song. And we're to do it, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to your name, Father. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Running a little bit late, uh, but let's sing. Let's uh, have a closing song. If you need to get off to uh, preparation for Sunday school, feel free. But uh, let's close with a song.
Why don't you stand with us this morning as we um, declare this song as we sing it, amen?